y'all welcome back to the bunny barn i am sorry if i look like life just hit me hard because it has <laughs> so sorry i don't have my best appearance usually i don't care if i'm not wearing any makeup but today it's just actually the past three weeks has been one of those weeks so yeah sorry that i don't look my best presentable self but y'all say he hello to esmeralda right there and like my shirt it says i am cornholio okay anyways today we are going to be talking about the country iceland i am very glad i picked this country next um if y'all wonder how i picked my countries just at random <laughs> i really don't have like a strategy or anything like that just really what pops into mind and that's it i have like probably like five countries already lined up um five or it's under 10 countries i have lined up that are coming up very glad though i chose this country next they have very good music very good bands so underrated i'm pretty sure not a lot of people know i'm pretty sure the only popular person from iceland is what's her name bjorn or bjork i'm not sure what's her name but the one who hit the paparazzi lady um yeah that's like probably the only person we know um i will say this though one of the bands i was trying to look up was very difficult to find i could not find anything um but I think a website and that's it. So I will leave a bunch of links to everything below, whether it be YouTube channels or, you know, websites or Facebook. So I will leave plenty of links, links below. And if y'all can find some stuff and send me links or anything like that, that would be great. Because a lot of these bands were really good. And there are plenty of bands from Iceland, but a lot of them have like either just EPs or demos or they also have like maybe one full length album. So yeah, just to let you guys know. The band we're going to talk about is Angus. They are a death metal band. They've been around since 2013 and they have a, a full length album. They're very, very good. I will leave their, um, I found it mostly through YouTube. I couldn't find anything through Spotify. Usually I prefer finding stuff through Spotify so I could just, you know, direct them through their profile so you can listen to them better than compared to YouTube. But they do have like an active YouTube account that they use. So I will leave that below. It is of two girls and two guys. And I'm pretty sure the girl is the main lead singer. Full length demo is called Circle of Suffering and it's so so good i i quite enjoyed it i quite usually when it comes to death metal you guys i'm very very picky um because i kind of just like like a couple of bands and that's it actually like just you know cannibal corpse and arch enemy and that's about it you know i'm really not into like death or black metal but i really want to get into more and i'm glad this country kind of like you know is making my mind explode with just music and this is definitely a country to look for if you want black metal or death metal. Next, Ham, like capital H-A-M. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't that into them. I'm not even gonna talk about them. It, it was just kind of, the vocal list was a little, his voice was just weird to me. But I will leave the information below, but I just was not into I think this was like the only band I was not really into. And here is the band Ham, the one I was not very very big on um they seem to have a lot of gaps when they release an album um there's a total of five and they've been around since 1993 i believe yeah nine no 1988 okay um definitely not a group that i really cared about and here are where they listen to the most um obviously iceland okay it's almost all iceland except for norway oslo um alrighty Whoa, I forgot to mention one band. I almost forgot. The band is called Zrine. Z-H-R-I-N-E. So I forgot to mention them. I am so sorry, but they are like basically classic death metal for you guys. They're really, really good. I'm actually, well, I'm not listening to them right now because then you'll be hearing it through my headphones. Um, but let me look real quick and see um, their destination. I mean, not their destination, but you know the about section about them and how many people listen to them they have over 6,000 listeners monthly listeners on spotify and they are big in helsinki finland stockholm sweden oslo norway mexico city and reykjavik um iceland so just to let you guys know yes they do have a spotify 
Black Desert Sun. This is this reminded me of a combination between um, Electric Wizard, Black Sabbath, and Witch. Um, if you haven't heard of Witch, I know there's a couple of bands called Witch. I believe this um, to, um, the one I'm referring to is like the U.S. one. But it was so psychedelic. The lead singer is a female. She kind of has like that Janis Joplin meets um, the lead singer to uh, Jefferson's Airplane. Uh, I forgot what was her name, but that's what it reminds me of. It's supposed to be psychedelic doom and stoner metal. So, and it is, I do like psychedelic stuff. So this was very, very well done. I have only one full length album out and it's really good. Definitely check them out and Spotify. Black Desert Sun, more popular in Iceland, Los Angeles, United States, Brno, Czech Republic, Dart Dartmouth, Canada, and Köln, Germany is where they are listened to the most people. And their album, I believe, was one full length. Yes, one full length album. Um, and it's just called Black Desert Sun. That's it. And it came out in 2016. The Vintage Caravan. Now, supposedly they've actually been doing pretty good. Um, this is definitely a mixture of like, you know, classic rock, like the Yardbirds meets metal. Like, I'm not joking you. It's not really that psychedelic though, like the Black Desert Sun. Um, but it's very, very classic, very kind of like, you know, hippie-ish and stuff like that, I guess you could say, but with metal in it. It's really, really good. I enjoy them. They have two full-length albums. The Vintage Caravan, two full-length albums, really, really great, and I enjoy listening to them very much. Definitely, you guys need to listen to them. Definitely give this group a chance, especially. Um, they also, let's see, what are they listening to the most? Um, Madrid, Spain. All right, Madrid, Spain. They have more listeners in Sao Paulo, Brazil, um, Iceland, Mexico City, and Stockholm, Sweden, where they are listened to the most. All righty. One is Cult of Lilith, and they are a death metal band. And yeah, they kind of reminded me more of that type of death metal, like Cannibal Corpse, like. So it kind of reminded me of that. Um, I, they only have like one EP, I believe. There was like maybe six songs on there, um, but it was relatively good. I kind of enjoyed it. It was definitely good to listen to. Um, hopefully, there will be more work from these guys. And but I'm not gonna lie, the Cult of Lilith, Cult of Lilith, kind of reminds me more of a black metal band, not a really death metal. Um, but that's just my opinion, of course. But yeah, so. That was kind of like, I don't know, like I knew this was going to be a death metal band, but I kept thinking, oh, it's going to be black metal. So when I heard like all of a sudden like that, that screaming from Cannibal Corpse or, you know, that deep kind of like pig like pig like screaming almost, I was like, oh, wait, never mind. This is not black metal. But, you know, even though I have read that it said it was going to be death metal. Cult of Lilith. Here we go. Um, only a few songs. They only have like five songs and that's it. It's an EP. Um, but still, if you like that death metal, especially like Cannibal Corpse, you should listen to them. They are very popular in Iceland, obviously, and Merced United States. Where the hell is this place? Merced United States. Merced United. Where the fuck? What kind of city is that? I don't know. But anyways, um, Germany, Stuttgart. Germany, Akron, United States, and Leeds, Uni United Kingdom. So there we go. A closer look in case you guys couldn't see that. So anyways, that is where they are listened to most. Next band I could not find. I just found them while I was reading about them, but I wasn't able really to find them. Um, they are called Norn. And the album's called Born of Litima Pern... Why do I even bother reading it? I'll just leave it right here so you guys can know. Um, but if I could find the website again or wherever I found them, I will leave the link down below and everything. Hopefully you guys can find their music. And I just thought it was interesting because they are supposed to be black metal slash crust. What kind of subgenre is crust metal or crust? When I think of crust... I think of the crust of the bread, you know, like that brown part nobody ever wants to eat. 
that's what I think of when it comes to crust. That's just, that's why I wanted to check them out so badly and I was like, but I couldn't find anything. Next band is Zakaz. It is black metal. This one was like really my type of black metal, like that mellow type of black metal, but then the darkness is there. It's definitely my type of black metal. Um, really, really enjoyed it. They have one full length album. I will leave the link down below. I wasn't able to find them through, um, um, Spotify. I was only able to find it through YouTube. Next, next one is Merc. They are black metal. They were all right. I kind of, you know, they weren't bad or anything. They, I, I could go either way. I could listen to them or I could not listen to them. But they're pretty okay. But they only have one full length album, and I think that was in 2004. They're still together from what I read, um, and they're still active. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here's the band Merc, um, as you can see. About them. Okay, so obviously they are not that much of a popular band, um, only in Iceland and a place called Tumba, Sweden, are, um, they are listened to the most, so yeah. And like I said, I believe they only have one full-length album, Icons of the Dark, and it was in 2004. And the last one I just had to mention, I mean... I know it's a movie, but I had to mention this, and it is called Metalhead. That's, well, at least in the English translation, it's called Metalhead, and I think in Icelandic, oh gosh, should I even try pronouncing anything in Icelandic? I'll just butcher it. It was like Malmaus or something like that. I'll leave the title below, and I'll put pictures, of course. I had to add this in there just because, you know, the girl who was um, Hera, uh, you know, she was a metalhead and she started a band and she was writing music and I think it was in Icelandic. I know the whole movie was in Icelandic, but I'm not sure if her music was. Uh, but it was so good, it was so deep and it was so dark and that's, and I loved it. It was just so gloomy. It just suited the movie very well. The movie got like um, pretty good ratings too, but it got really really good reviews and if you guys haven't checked out at least watch the trailer the movie is difficult to get you can only get it through amazon but then of course it's only saved in amazon i think yeah it, i heard it's like a real bitch um and if you want to order the movie it's going to be like 50 dollars with shipping and all that there is one person who did a review on it he was able to get his hands on it and he went through hell so i will leave his channel right below um both the videos of of the review and as well as how difficult it was to make that review but thanks you guys for watching so much i am really enjoying doing this i'm sorry if i just did not you know really screamed out my best today um but i really really do enjoy doing this and i'm gonna try to do them once a week from now on but if for some reason i fail to do them once a week i will guarantee you you will at least get two metal around the world videos in one month so I hope you are enjoying this and the next country coming up is Azerbaijan. See you guys!